This week on the Britain Poland, I take you to Energylandia, home of Poland's biggest roller coasters and perhaps the greatest theme park you will find in Poland. In fact, it knocks most theme parks out of the park. So please join me on my journey while I show you around the park, show you what there is to do, give you a few handy hints, and I hope you enjoy. Dzień dobry, and welcome to a Brit in Poland. This channel is going to bring you everything you need to know about Poland. I am exploring the country, bringing you the history, trying to tell you about the culture and show you what it is really like to live here. So feel free to check out my other media, Instagram, Facebook, and I will share links to those in the comments. I also have a website, www.britinpoland.com, where I collate my videos for easy to view manner. Also, you are welcome to contribute to my efforts through Patronite or Patreon, and all descriptions are available below the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and please come back for more by subscribing, liking, or commenting. Thank you very much. Dosa Vichenia. Energylandia is located pretty much halfway between Krakow and Katowice, and proudly boasts that you can get to it within 30 minutes of each city, which is about right. So we took the special Energy Landia bus from Krakow, and yes, it took about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And actually the price was pretty cheap. I think it was something like seven zot each way or something, not too bad. The price for an Energy Landia ticket, I don't know, I think it's about 160 zot at the moment. Uh, but a few of us got a reduced price online because there was a special offer, so look for those. Uh, the first place we went to is the Hyperion roller coaster, um, which is pretty impressive. Uh, it's a height of 77 meters and has an angle drop of 85 degrees and a maximum speed of 142 kilometers. It's pretty intense, and certainly you weren't walking straight afterwards. It dates back to 2018. The park itself actually only opened in 2014, and the very first roller coaster was the Dragon roller coaster, which was the first Polish inverted roller coaster, with trains running under the track instead of above it. The main area that you walk into is kind of a bit kiddie. There is a thing with this park is there are a lot of things that are rather kiddie. So you can see the main target audience here. However, you can safely say it is fun for all the family. I personally was amazed by all the colorful characters, the, you know, the real the really incredible way that they've just decorated this park. There are different musics for different zones. And it's just fun and colourful. And yeah, so totally you want to go there when it's sunny to get the, the most of it. And yeah, it was a long day. We uh, I think we arrived there at about 9am roughly and we stayed till about 7 and we did our best. We started off as a group and quickly split into groups of, say, different tolerances for the, the rides. And there are a lot of rides. In fact, there are 133 attractions over like a 74 hectare area. So you are not going to get bored in Energylandia. And even if you're not a big fan of roller coasters, because let's be honest, most of the big rides are the roller coasters here. There are several other attractions, such as restaurants, shops. Uh, one person was watching some like destruction derby kind of thing um, in a, like a car arena, which was pretty cool. In the end, I maybe did about five or six rides in total, which doesn't seem a lot during the day, but you have to account for queuing, recovering from certain rides, this one was not that bad, quite fun actually. And what I really like is the thematic element. 
So there are actually seven zones in Energylandia. Uh, so this is, I think, part of like the extreme zone. Uh, this, I think, was uh, Apocalypto, which was basically just yeah, riding down a slope to get splashed, which is a common theme in many a theme park. But this one, it doesn't even pretend to be any other kind of roller coaster. It is what it is. So quite a simple area. And we went to the Formula One area, which at first we thought, looking at the map, oh, maybe we will get to do some, you know, kart racing or something like that. But no. In fact, um, the Formula One track, dating back to 2016, uh, is ha an electromagnetic drive that accelerates the trains to 79.2 kilometers in about two seconds. And trust me, you feel that force. Uh, yeah, it felt like you were in a ping pong, uh, pinball machine. Um, yeah, we had to recover with a beer, and you may have seen the Energy Landia mugs that you can buy, which are 750 milliliters as opposed to the standard 500. The beer was required, especially after that Formula One ride. Hyperion was a pretty crazy start, but Formula One for sure got us going. Uh, this is like a water shooting ride. We were thinking bumper cars would be fun, and then we realized the average age of the person on the car and decided maybe not. Uh, the park has a bit of a tunnel, which uh, separates like one half from another. And we're going to venture into the kiddie zone. And the two guys I was with were like, man, are you really dragging us through here? And I'm like, yes, I want to get footage to show people what it's like. Plus, with these kiddie zones, you can always guarantee some creative and colourful architecture, which I think would look good on film. And perhaps some of the people watching this want to take their kids to Energylandia, and they want an idea of what they can experience. Funnily enough, we did not go on any of the rides in the kiddie zone. In fact, we probably walked through it in about five minutes, but as you can see, it looks lovely. There are loads of sweet shops. Yeah, so if you have kids, expect to probably spend a lot of money buying sweets and in the gift shops. They really get you. But one thing that was cheap was the map, uh, costing one zloty. It was a bargain. So we went to the Atlantis zone, which is one of the, the newer zones in the park. I think uh, dating back to about 2019, maybe 2000, I think maybe it was delayed by the pandemic. Uh, this uh, is the Abyssus roller coaster. Now, this was the last of the big roller coasters I went on and it destroyed me. It was, it felt long, like it felt like it was going for like two minutes. Um, people denied that, but that's what it felt like. Uh, it's a height of 38.5 meters, has a drop of 40 meters somehow. Um, and But it only goes to 100 kilometers per hour, you know, so pretty, you know, calm compared to some of the other roller coasters. Though, it, yeah, I felt like I'd been boxing with Mike Tyson um, by the end of it. And we're going to get to, you can see in the background, Zadra there which is actually the world's highest hybrid. Um, and by hybrid, they mean steel and wood roller coaster. Speaking to other people on the group who did go on this ride, they said it was the scariest, but mainly because they were just terrified that it was going to fall apart, uh, being wooden. It didn't have the same safety element uh, that they... Uh, course it's completely safe but they did not feel safe <laughs> and they said the seats were somewhat uncomfortable I guess because of the design this is one of the the zones which is like a kind of ah, Lord of the Rings meets Witcher type zone fair play um, we stopped here for food uh, we went to a kind of KFC type place but there were plenty of restaurants but it was also very, very busy. And yeah, they are heavily advertising Zadra here. But it was quite quirky, you know. I, I, I like the theme elements of this. This is the Wonder Wheel, again, one of the newer attractions. And it's 53 meters high, 
gives you a wonderful view of the park. And as you can see, we had a little bit of rain. But as you can see, this park looks spectacular. In fact, uh, in several years, it's been voted as one of the like top 10 theme parks in Europe. And for sure, it has uh, the highest ratings in Poland. But saying that, I'm not sure what other theme parks could compare to this in Poland. Uh, you had, of course, some relaxing things like the monster house. I didn't know exactly what to expect in here. And it was perhaps a little sillier uh, than I thought. I remember going to Fort Park in the UK and this kind of place you would have been grabbed by people. But no, obviously they wanted the kids to enjoy that one. It's pretty well signposted inside the park. Plenty of scary rides. For sure, I was, wasn't brave enough to try every single ride. Uh, but I did make sure to sample some of the crazier ones, just so I know what it was like. And any of you kind of filmographers out there, they do not let you wear action cameras and things on the rides. You have to remove everything, put them into lockers. But the good news is you can buy one like armband, which will allow you to use lockers all day long. Of course, there are several shops dotted throughout the park, and I recommend popping in to the entrance ones to get a map at the beginning, because having a map of the park is useful. There is a map you can download for your phone, but me, I'm old fashioned. I like a nice paper map. But I hope you've enjoyed this little view of Energylandia. I didn't mention the fact that there's a water park as well, but we didn't go there. Um, I've tried to show you as much as I can, but I hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, and please come back for many more videos about Poland. Do zobaczenia!